Don't get it. Where's the camera? You know that car we parked around the corner? Yeah. It's in the aerial. There's a tiny hole in the shaft. And there's a micro miniature camera behind it. Very clever. Oh, yeah. So, what we've got to do now is wait for Drysdale to arrive. Oh, let's have some music, eh? There's something wrong with your picture. Oh, what's happened now? <laughs> but the bloody kids! No! It's not that I don't find you attractive or anything else. Sorry to disappoint you, Peter, but Drysdale was passing the car. My kiss was just standard procedure. Oh. Well, good job I wasn't on duty with Dexter. <laughs> Where is he today, anyway? Oh, he's on special assignment with Drummond. Apparently it's a very important mission. For God's sake, Dexter, do try and keep up. <laughs> Any sight of my ball yet, Lewis? Yes, sir. Here it is. You idiot, Lewis. You never pick up a golf ball and throw it down like that. I'm sorry, sir. No. You just chuck it onto the green where I can putt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good shot. I could be on for a birdie, yeah? <laughs> Tricky shot, this, sir. It's almost buried. Oh, it's not too bad, Dexter. You see, I've been mugging up on Sandy Lyle's videotape. Master at bunker shots, you know. Probably why they call him Sandy, sir. <laughs> Come on, Morris, you to play. Sorry, Andrew, just checking the position of the flag. Again, I think. <coughs> Tell me, Andrew, is the news about the Bishwani government true? Absolutely. Well, I mean, they've always been staunch supporters of the Arab extremists. We in the West have always been the great enemy. Ah, yes, but that was when the father was alive. Now he's dead, the eldest son wants peace with us. Huh. Anyway, Pater Lewis. Anyway, for the time being, we are the best of friends with the Bishwanis. Flag, Lewis. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry, Andrew. I'll give you that. Four for me. Uh, hmm? I think you may have miscounted, sir. I made it 15. <laughs> ah. Right. Over the seven. Anyway, the Bishwanas are having a bash at their embassy in the next few days, and the Foreign Office have invited us. Us? Why? <laughs> because in the new enlightened atmosphere of mutual friendship, open-handedness and trust, we're going to bug the place. Oh, right. But I'd better <laughs> assemble the team. Tea, Dexter. Oh, yes. Please. <laughs> right then, par five. I think I'll need my driver for this one. Shall I go and get it for you, sir? <laughs> you know, Dexter, if I thought a blow to the head would make any difference, I'd use this on you. Did you see where that went, Dexter? Where well, what went, sir? <laughs> well, this is 
is a cut above the Rose and Crown on a Saturday night. Oh, do you think so? It's very grand, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm glad you approve. I couldn't resist it. You know, it was an impulse, really. The chap wanted 60 quid for a quick sale, so I thought, well... <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I do have to keep the harem going. I've got you booked in for August the 18th. Is that all right? I'll check my diary. Mm. So, who else is going to be here tonight? Oh, I should think most of the various ministries will be represented, you know. All trying to make their own deal. And will there be others from your ministry? Oh, yes, yes. Bound to be one or two from the office. Which <laughs> office is that, precisely? It's the big uh, grey one with the windows in Whitehall. Yeah. <laughs> you can't miss it, really. <laughs> ah, drinks. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Piglet. Piglet? I hope that's not a term of affection. It's a, a silly nickname. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Uh, may I introduce my wife, Sarah? This is my boss, Mr Drummond. Oh, please, you must call me Morris. Oh, thank you, Morris. Not you, your wife. <laughs> this is my wife, Abigail, Peter Chapman, and his wife, do? Sarah. How do you do? Hello. <laughs> well, it's so nice to meet people from Morris's office at last. He tells me so little about his work. Well, what do you want to know, my love? Now, this is Peter Chapman, who works for me. This is his wife, Sarah, who works as an editor of a Grundman Press. They've been married four years. She has a small appendix scar. She bangs with Nat West and they've just moved her office to the fifth floor. How did you know about my new office? Um, well, Peter must have told me. <laughs> Peter didn't know. Ah. <laughs> ah, there's Andrew, over here. Andrew. Evening, Morris. Evening, Chapman. Evening. This is my wife, Evelyn. Yeah, hello, How do you I'm do? Peter Chapman, this is Sarah. Hello. Hello. Maurice Drummond. This is my wife, Abigail. How do you do? It's so nice to meet some of Andrew's colleagues from the Ministry at last. Yes, that's just what I was saying. <laughs> Which ministry was it again? The Department the of Trade, Trade and Industry. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you. Well, cheers, everybody. Here is to a successful and fruitful evening. Yes. <laughs> cheers. 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 Um, Chapman, can I have a brief word with you, please? Forgive us, Sarah. <laughs> have you brought all you need for our little job? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. As soon as Dexter gets here, we can think about setting you two to work. Right. Hmm. Um, sir, you know you said we were to be discreet and keep a low profile this evening. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Well, I wouldn't look towards the door if I were you. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Is that Dexter? Well, I think so. What does he look like? <laughs> well, I put it somewhere between Engelbert Humpernick and Julian Clary. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Well, maybe nobody's noticed. Evening all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Dexter. That suit. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> well, where on earth did you get it? I borrowed it from my brother-in-law. And he sings with the four tops, does he? <laughs> oh, Dexter. Leave him alone. I think he looks very smart. Hmm. For a bingo caller. <laughs> this is my old lady, Lorraine. Uh, how, how do you do? My name is Morris Drummond. Oh, your old git face. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Uh, Morris, don't you think these two had better get down to work? Oh, yes, indeed, Andrew. Well, Dexter Chapman, I think it's time that you two went to the toilet. Right, you are, sir. <laughs> It'll be about an hour. Ah. <laughs> right, what's first? Well, you take the TV. I'll drill through that wall, see if we can pick up anything that comes from the ballroom. Right. Hey, they're a bit stingy with the gin here, aren't they? Where's that waiter? No, actually, I think you'll find the Bichuanis aren't allowed any alcohol at all. Yeah, but I am. Yes, <laughs> but, but it's their religion, and I think we ought to respect that while we're their guests, don't well, you? I suppose so. Yeah, thank God I'm C of E. I mean, it might have its drawbacks, but at least you can get pissed when you want. <laughs> Would you believe it? Somebody has beaten us to it. What? <laughs> TV's already bugged. Look. I think you'll find that's the contrast control. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh.
Good evening, gentlemen. Having a good time? Oh, yes, thank you, Your Excellency. Yes, it's marvelous. And which department do you represent? Uh, the Foreign Office. Yes, the Foreign Office. Well, that's a new one. Peter said he was with Ag and Fish. Oh, I could have sworn Morris said he was from the Department of Trade and Industries. My old man told me he worked for Radio Rentals. <laughs> It's a great joy that my country can now count Britain as a great ally. Yes, indeed. And of course, we can look forward to mutually advantageous <laughs> trade links. Don't you agree, gentlemen? Is that a yes or a no? I don't understand this. I should be through by now. We'll try drilling somewhere else. Mm. Stuck in the wall. Hello? What? That's from the Bishwani capital. Apparently, there's a rebel group operating in Europe who are planning to take over one of their embassies. What? That sounds a bit dodgy. Nah. It's not only England, is it? I mean, they'll go for somewhere like France or Germany. Oh, they've started with the party poppers. <laughs> Dexter, I don't think so. Oh, don't tell me we're missing the champagne. <laughs> Come loose! <laughs> you are all the prisoners of the Al Fedjin. one who went to the International Conference on Terrorism. What do we do? Uh, well, the first thing, Andrew, is to stay calm, play the psychological game and bide our time, then slowly but surely strike up a rapport until his confidence is won, and then the moment he drops his guard, overpower him and get his gun. That sounds absolutely first class. When are you going to make your move? Me? <laughs> Just get on with it, Morris. Oh, very well. Uh, excuse me. Well? <laughs> Hello. Uh, look, I'd just like to say that uh, I'm not with these people. In fact, I've never seen them before. <laughs> so, uh, if you'll just excuse me while I sidle away and leave you lot to it. Sit down! Yes, of course. <laughs> I, I did do my best, Andrew. Yes. <laughs> hey, cut the line. The windows are barred. Great. So what do we do? I've got an idea. I could signal somebody. Who? Dexter, this is one of the quietest streets in London. There won't be anyone passing by. <laughs> that just shows how much you know. Somebody's answering my signal already. Well, <laughs> there. <laughs> Dexter, that is your reflection. <laughs> oh. All right, now, look, we've got to think of something. Right, there's only one thing we can do. Try and find an escape route. Come in. No. Dexter, my wife is a prisoner in there. I can't just leave her. Ah, uh, right. Well, look, your wife's a prisoner in there, too. Yeah, so she is. See you. Dexter! <laughs> Allow me to explain. You are all the prisoners of the al Fajin. Jolly good. All hail the Alphagist. Silence! 
Yes, of course. Would you mind telling us what you intend to do with us? Absolutely nothing. Our purpose in breaking in here tonight was to force the ambassador to meet our demands, namely, the release of all our brothers currently held in Bishwani prisons. We want $5 million in gold. Bishwani uh, hasn't got that much gold. All right, forget the gold. It was always a bit speculative anyway. <laughs> and we want a jet, fueled and ready to fly to Bermuda. Oh, yes, with one of those bunny girl waitresses like <laughs> Hugh Hefner has. I will have to consult my government. All right, but don't take too long. We're desperate men. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, sir. I thought you implied that our lives weren't in danger. They're not. But he doesn't know that. <laughs> no luck so far. I'm going to keep on looking. Believe me, Peter, if there is a way out of this place, I will find it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, put your hands down. I'm not one of the Alpha Gene. I'm the ambassador. Oh, thank God. Hello, I'm Peter Chapman with the British delegation of uh, agriculture and fisheries. <laughs> Why are you in my office? Um, goodwill, detente. Uh, a little gesture from our government. You know, we've swept your embassy for bugs. <laughs> this is normally the responsibility of Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, is it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, it's, um, well, if it's fishy, we take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I discovered a listening device earlier. I'm surprised you didn't spot it. Listen very carefully, Mr. Ambassador. I think I may have a plan. Well, that was the dandest thing I ever saw. It just jumped straight <laughs> to Morris, Morris, speak to me. Oh. Of course, this is all your fault. None of this would have happened if you'd kept your stupid squabbles to yourself rather than involving innocent people. Bad woman! You are nothing. The woman is like a grain of sand in one's bed. Insignificant, but nevertheless irritating. <laughs> that is an old Eastern saying. Remember it. Listen, Mosh! It's difficult to clean your teeth when they're in pieces on the floor. <laughs> That's an old East End saying. <laughs> Remember that and all. Yeah, now, now, my dear. Let's all keep our cool, nice and calm. All right. Well, is everything all right? <laughs> what is wrong with your voice? I've uh, got a uh, uh, frog. What? So, got a cold. Uh, put the ambassador with the others. You're right, darling. Keep your filthy oh. hands to yourself. <laughs> my fillings out then. Peter, I'm sorry, I didn't realise. I say, piglet. Well done. Uh... What happened to Drummer? The shield fell off the wall and hit him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, fancy. Now, listen, piglet, the situation is getting serious. We may have to make a run for it. Well, that may not be necessary, so you see, I've rigged a little diversion. Have you indeed? In a few moments, the lights are going to go out. I reckon we've got about five seconds to overpower the leader before the emergency generator kicks in. Right. Uh... Oh, I think he's coming round. Morris, Morris, darling, are you all right? <sighs> yes, thank you, Mummy. I put my toys away. Is it time to see you? <laughs> no, it's not Mummy, darling. It's me, your wife. You remember, don't you, my little flopsy bunny? It's Abigail. <laughs> Abigail, he 
is that you? Oh, Abigail, Flopsy Bunny hurt his head. <laughs> He's concussed. I sincerely hope so. <laughs> that means that when the lights go off, it'll be down to you and me, Piglet. Right, you are, Shall I put the cocoa on while you get into your girl guide uniform? I... <laughs> Now, we've got to get the Arab leader over here. Johnny Good, I say, can you come over here, please? Shut up, Morris. Don't you tell me to shut up, fatty. <laughs> I'll put you on a charge. Parade attention! What is going on over here? Who are you? What are you doing in those clothes? I thought I hit him. So did I. Uh... <laughs> Whoops. Flopsy Bunny hurt his head again. Sit down. All of you! So what now? I don't know. Just pray for the police to arrive, I suppose. This is the police! Oh, no, that was quick. <laughs> Piglet, this is the decisive moment. They may decide to stay the course until their demands are met. And I needn't tell you what that could mean. You! Come here. Me? Oh, Peter. <laughs> Oof! Fool, we were going to surrender anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's easy for you to say. Now I've got the gun, eh? Yeah, it's just a replica. It only fires blanks. <laughs> Congratulations, you two. Well, when GCHQ intercepted the communication from the Fishwanis, they put out a general alert. And the minute the telephone lines went dead, well, we just put two and two together. Oh, well done. Well done, indeed. All right, ladies? Yes, thank you. Shaken but not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was a good idea to let Mr Drummond drive himself home, sir. <laughs> Still, home's where we all belong now, I think. Good night. Good night, sir. Well, that certainly made a change from the do's we used to go to at the Polytechnic. Yes. Yes, I found tonight's do a bit sedate as well. 